Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys and it's to get the look that I had on in my um, Valentine's Day hair tutorial. Um, it was a very natural looking look but it looked almost flawless and that's because I had to do a little bit of tweaks and tweaks there to make my face look flawless. It's a very simple look and it's just minimal effort, you really don't have to do it but... It's just something, this is how I did it. You guys wanted to know how I did it. All you have to do is, you know, do your natural foundation however you want to do it. And then do some mascara and all this stuff like that. But this is how I did it. You guys wanted to know, so I decided to show you guys. And um, otherwise, if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so just go ahead and, and apply this under the eyes like I was showing you guys. Um, I switched around my setup because it just, I don't know, I didn't like the way it was looking. And so I just apply this with my brush, and this one kind of has a lot on it, so we're going to bring a little bit here. And I like to bring the concealer kind of right here on where my highlight would be to help really lighten up that area. Go ahead and just take your fingers and lightly pat on it to help blend it in a little bit. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and apply your foundation. And like I said, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And you're just going to take some of that. And you can either put it on the back of your hand, or you could just kind of put it between your fingers. You're going to use clean fingers anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you can use a foundation brush. I just like to kind of use the foundation brush to kind of set, like place it on my skin. So if you guys can see what I'm doing here. But I don't necessarily use the foundation brush to blend in my color and I actually put some on my neck because you remember you have to make sure your neck matches your face and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this into my face the next thing I'm gonna take is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer yes I washed my hands and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and apply it to my eyelids both eyelids And the reason why we do this is because we just kind of want the face to seem very refreshed. And so you want to kind of conceal any like dark circles, any redness, anything like that. You just want to make sure that you really conceal it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a translucent powder. I'm just using the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush. Swirl. Tap and just apply this over because I don't like to have that dewy look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the e.l.f. contouring and bronzing powder. Looks like this. And I just use the dark one as you can tell it's the only one that's actually used. <clears throat> and I take my brush and I just lightly put that in there because it is quite um, pigmented. And I just kind of start to contour my face. And then you can do your forehead. Do whatever you do as your own um, natural contouring. So I'm going to take this highlighter that I actually love. It's actually a illuminating powder from um, Wet n Wild. And it's called Catwalk Pink. And it looks like this. I got it from my sister, so it is quite used. But it's all good. And I, I like to take just the pink color right in there. Just the pink and apply this to my highlight because you don't really have to do this this is totally optional but this is just what I wanted to do because I like my face to glow and this is how my face was in that video once you have done that you're going to now just curl your lashes this is seriously so simple you guys I love it and you're going to apply mascara to your lashes You're going to take your Claire Mascara or your brow gel, whatever it is that you use, and just kind of put this on your lash, or your, well, you're going to put this on your brows to just help set them, because if you are like me and you get your eyebrows done every two weeks, but you haven't gone lately and you've been grooming in them yourself, they're going to be a little bit crazy, so. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. palette in neutrals, and I'm going to go into that color that I love to use as a highlight, it's just a shimmery color. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this just to my inner corners. Because once you apply the eyeshadow, you kind of have to press the eyeshadow with your fingers. Make sure they're clean and dry. 
And this is just going to kind of help make it look a little bit more natural rather than that you have all this eyeshadow right here in your inner corners. It's going to look a little bit more like a natural highlight. Okay, and then the final step is just to take some lip gloss. I'm using Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush in Passion Fruit Pop and apply just a very soft pinky lip gloss to just kind of add just a little bit of color to freshen up your face. And that's basically it. Whoopsers. This is how I looked in that video except this is me in the daytime. Um, but this is it, it's just a very simple look. It almost looks like you're just wearing mascara and you have these like natural highlights going on even though you put on a little bit of makeup, you know. But there guys, they won't really know unless you cake that stuff on. And then now you're gonna look, you know, really natural, really refreshed and you're gonna have this little glow and then this contour to your face and it's gonna be great and you're gonna love it. So I hope this was simple, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope um, if you decide to go with a natural look, you wear this um, for Valentine's Day. If not, just go all natural, girl. Just put some mascara on and let it go. It's, I mean, you know, if your skin is flawless, go with it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later and have a fabulous day, bye. And I have my light on because without it, it doesn't really look as bright in here. You see? Oh. Dad?